Do you own the end of the journey? Hi, my name is Jeff Raker. Welcome to the question for today. Every journey has an end. Your career has an end. Maybe it's a volunteer position and it has an end. You don't want to be that person that everybody else says, boy, they really need to be done. Do you own the end of the journey? If you are one who can't step back, who can't end things, you're obviously not owning the end, but you're also preventing some other things from happening. You're preventing other people from moving in. You're preventing other people from developing. Do you have a replacement for you? This is part of owning the end of the journey. Can you own the feelings that come up with the end of the journey? I think that what gets in the way of many leaders not ending things well is that feeling that they want to avoid. That feeling of void, perhaps, or who am I? Who will I be if this ends? And, and we avoid that feeling. Well, make it about the people. Make it about what you can do to see your company, your team, your organization, that place with whom you volunteer will continue on a great path. That's part of how you own an ending. And only when you own the ending can you move to the next chapter. What's that for you? Level up your leadership with this question for today.